Greetings everyone, and welcome to Kangaroo Coffee's Stardew Valley tutorial series. Today's topic is none other than the glorious keg. That's right. And why is the keg so revered by Stardew Valley players? Well, it's simple. The keg allows you to begin producing wine, which is one of the most profitable items in the game. You can also make other goodies like beer, coffee, pale ale, mead, and green tea, and juice. Stay tuned as we will cover all these topics in this video. So now that you know the many benefits of having a keg in Stardew Valley, or of having many kegs in Stardew Valley, you're probably wondering, so how do I get a keg in Stardew Valley? Well, your first keg will likely be acquired by finishing the Artisan Bundle in the Community Center Pantry, which you can see here in this save I've already completed. It's where I am standing right here. And so once you complete that bundle, uh, you can begin using it, but you can't make your own keg until you have reached farming skill level eight. So you receive one, just one for finishing the, uh, the pantry here in the community center. But in order to get the recipe to start making your own, you actually need to reach farming skill level eight. So there are only 10 total skill levels in farming and the other categories of skills. And you can check that right here in this little area on your menu with your face on it there, your farmer's face on it. And you can see there's all these different skill levels. There's five different uh, skills that you can level up in. And so in farming, there's, uh, there's 10 total levels. So you need to actually achieve eight out of 10 before you get the keg recipe. And so you can build your farming skill a couple different ways. One way is by harvesting crops. So planting does not grant you uh, any experience in farming, but harvesting does. And then the other way of gaining farming experience and therefore building your farming skill is by caring for your animals. So harvesting, I'm not sure if harvesting uh, truffles counts, but harvesting crops and petting your animals uh, milking your animals, feeding, or I'm not sure about feeding, but petting, milking, shearing, uh, and, um, and gathering their products all, uh, all gain you farming skill. Therefore, since you need to reach farming level 8 uh, in order to get the keg recipe, the keg is really more of a mid to late game item. But the keg is really a, the key item that will transition you from the mid-game money struggle into the ridiculously wealthy and powerful tycoon that I know you are. Long before you reach farming level 8, there are a few great ways to prepare so that you can start making a ton of kegs as soon as you unlock the recipe. The first thing to start doing as soon as you can is to begin making tappers. The tapper recipe is obtained by reaching foraging level 3, so you will likely have it pretty early in the game. As soon as you get the recipe, start crafting them using 40 wood and 2 copper bars each. Then attach them to oak trees, as you can see right here. So this is an oak tree, uh, and so I have a tapper right here attached to it. Uh, so once you attach them to the oak trees, you will begin to produce oak resin. And oak resin is an ingredient required uh, to craft kegs. And it also takes a little bit of time to produce. So it's a good idea as soon as you can to start making tappers and putting them on oak trees. Now, you can tell oak trees because uh, just look at the leaves and compare them to this tree over here. So this tree is a maple tree. As you can see, it has a little bit bigger leaves, a uh, slightly different shape there. Uh, also, the you can't really see very well here, but the trunk is a little more curved uh, than the oak tree trunk is. So that's how you can tell the two apart. So you definitely want to put your tappers uh, at first on the oak trees. Of course, maple trees are good too. Maple syrup is also very helpful. But for kegs, we want that oak resin, and we want to have a lot of it because you need one for every single keg that you produce. So as you continue working to achieve farming level eight by harvesting and taking care of harvesting your crops and taking care of your animals, then uh, you'll want to start hoarding your oak resin. So as you can see here in one of my chests, uh, as you can see, very well organized, <laughs> but I have this chest here and uh, there are 13 oak resin in there right now. And excuse my crazy inventory right now. I just got back from the mines uh, when I played last, but anyway, I have 13 oak resin here, even though I already have many, many kegs. 
And that's because I'm just in the habit of hoarding those things. Crafting kegs also requires iron bars and copper bars. Make sure that as you are collecting copper and iron ores in the mines and smelting bars for various purposes, that you keep some on hand so that you can immediately craft some kegs as soon as you unlock the recipe. 40 wood are also required per keg, and that can add up quickly. It's great to always have a lot of wood on hand for unexpected needs, but you'll want to have more than usual in your supply when it's time to craft a lot of kegs. So the next question is, what can you make with kegs? Well, there are a few things you can make, and they are all great for their own reasons. I mean, kegs make not only very profitable items, but also extremely useful items. So let's talk about those right now. So the first thing, of course, is wine. That is definitely the biggest deal. That is the most famous thing, and that is uh, the most profitable thing, honestly. It's uh, you know, definitely the thing that's going to take you from being in sort of that middle game area uh, to being in, the, in that late game where you start having you know more money than you really know what to do with. So uh, a lot of that is because of, of wine. And so putting any fruit into a keg will produce wine after 6.25 in-game days. Wine is worth three times the base price of the fruit used to create it, so it is a hugely profitable product. The most expensive wines, which are ancient fruit wine and star fruit wine, are very popular products since they fetch such a great price. Wine is also a loved gift of Leah and Harvey. The next product is beer. Beer is made from one wheat placed into a keg. So there's not a whole lot to it, just one wheat into a keg, and it is ready in one day, and it sells for 200 gold. This, of course, is a very profitable item and also great for gifting, uh, as it is loved by Pam and Shane, and liked by everyone else uh, other than the kids, Penny, and Sebastian. Coffee. Fast juice makes farmer more productive. More productive farmer makes more money. Coffee is, a, is really a whole topic for another video. But five coffee beans gives you one cup of coffee from a keg. It's ready quickly in only two in-game hours, and you'll walk faster for a while. So drink this before taking a long walk somewhere, and uh, somewhere you need to get there fast. This will get you there fast. Next up is mead. Throw some honey in a keg, and in 10 stardew hours, you'll have a bottle of mead. It sells for 200 gold, and is a loved gift of Pam and Willie. And that brings us next to pale ale. Throw some hops in a keg and you've got some pale ale. Sells for 300 gold and it's loved by Pam. Uh, apparently you can also use it in the spool of in Emily's sewing machine to make a black leather jacket. So that's kind of cool. All right, and next we have green tea. Don't mind me, Pierre. I'm just going to walk into your house in the middle of the night. No big deal. Don't worry about me. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, okay. That's not what we're here for. All right, next up is green tea. If you become two heart friends with Caroline, then you get access to her tea room and you also receive a gift of a tea sapling in the mail. So all you have to do is get to two hearts with Caroline and she will give you access to this little room in the back of her house. As you can see here, there's a tea bush in the middle of it. It's probably easiest at first to just get the tea leaves from this tea room, uh, from the tea bush right here. Uh, but she will send you a tea sapling in the mail that you can plant and eventually get your own tea leaves from there. Tea bushes only produce leaves during the last week of the season, so it really just depends on if you have 20 days for your tea bush to mature before it can begin producing uh, during the last week of the season. Maybe I should go back to the farm. <laughs> it's 120. Anyway... Tea gives a, uh, green tea gives a permanent energy boost. Uh, so it gives you a bigger energy bar. So for that reason, it is uh, it's very worthwhile, particularly in the early part of the game uh, when energy is a much bigger limiting factor and something that you really kind of need to worry about. So green tea is a loved gift of Caroline and Lewis and sells for 100 gold. Uh, it also takes only three in-game hours to produce, so you can make it quite quickly. Uh, a quick bonus tip here. It's a good idea to not have bombs in your hot bar. <laughs> okay, so just so you know. Okay, and finally, the last thing that can be produced by kegs is juice. So any vegetable placed into a keg produces juice. It takes four days to make and sells for 2.25 times 
the vegetables base price. It is a loved gift of no one. Even the kids hate it. <laughs> of course, the artisan profession improves all these prices. I strongly recommend that if you are really planning on kegging out and having a full-on winery and brewery like I have and a lot of other late-game players have, then you should have the artisan profession. It increases all these by a great deal and definitely a worthwhile thing. Okay, last thing I would like to cover is where can you put kegs? Well, the good news is there are many places where you can put kegs. You can put kegs in sheds. That's what I generally do. So where I've been showing you mostly are, uh, are where I've put my kegs and sheds. Uh, it's also a good idea to put a keg outside the shed. And then that way you can tell when it's done. Just put a, some fruit into this keg at the same time when you're filling up the others. And, uh, and then that way you'll know when all the kegs inside are completed. Uh, but kegs can go inside your house. They can go inside sheds, barns, coops, uh, you know, basically anywhere that an NPC does not walk. And so you can look up a map. I think it's on the Stardew Valley Wiki. Um, and you can find the exact places, the exact tiles uh, where NPCs walk. Because if an NPC walks over or through your item, your keg, then they'll destroy it. It'll just be gone. So you don't want that to happen. So definitely check on that first. But, you know, I'll show a few things up here on the screen that show, you know, some places, uh, you know, that I've, I found on Stardew Valley Wiki uh, that you know, show where you can put kegs and they won't be disturbed by any NPCs. So, you know, I've never personally seen much of a reason to keep kegs outside the farm. I mean, there's a lot of room on the farm. You know, there, there are a lot of places, there's some oak resin there, as we can see. Um, but there are, uh, there's lots of room for, uh, for kegs on the farm. So I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to put them elsewhere. But some people like to do that. And hey, there's no harm in it. So anyway, I think that's about it. Uh, Thank you so much for, for watching today. I hope you've learned some useful information uh, in this video about kegs. Uh, I think it's, it's really a great thing to, to try to start getting some kegs as quickly as you can. Uh, even if you just get the one from the community center to start with uh, from completing the pantry, then that's a great thing to have, great way to make some money. And then once you reach farming level eight, then you can start making more kegs and then you will be Jeff Bezos. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Kangaroo Court is now adjourned. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.